Let's play Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. pixies welcome back to my channel it's me kia your favorite and i'm back with another video i just wanted to do like a get ready with me for the company christmas party show y'all what i'm wearing and i thought that would be cute so if you're interested please like this video because it helps me and stay tuned honestly first i'm about to take a nap because i did a half day at work because nobody's really there because of the party so i just came from lunch with my sister and my little nephew he's a baby and now i'm just like okay do i keep this makeup and like build on it because i just did like a you know my everyday work face to go to work i did kind of like practice my eyeliner just a little bit to do a little bit something for tonight so i'm like should i build off of this pet face or should i start over from scratch and i feel like i'm gonna start over from scratch so first let me just like wash my face so i use tubing mascara so the first thing i do is just like run water over my face to like loosen up the mascara because it just pretty much comes off but first I have these headband things from uh, Sweet July Skin. If y'all don't know, that's Aisha Curry's brand. So these just like go around your edges when you are washing your face at night so that your um, edges don't get wet, or at least that's what I use it for. I've really been loving is this cleanser by the inky list it is a salicylic acid cleanser and they sent me this so i just get a dollop and i like put it on my face and then i'll just wet my hand and then get a good lather on it i just wanna dance. 
so once I wash my face, I try to wash it for like a minute, get a good lather. Cause I remember a few years ago, there was this skincare dermatologist lady. I think she was a dermatologist and she said, you should wash your face for at least a minute. So I tried to do that. Now that my face is all washed and rinsed, I just went ahead and put my sunscreen on. I use this sunscreen from Innisfree and it's really, really good. It has SPF 36 and it's only $15 and for like a more luxury in SPF, that's really, really good because I'm going to come home and do my whole skincare routine over again because obviously I have to take my makeup off so I don't want to do too much. Right now I just came from a walk with my sister's sister and it was a really fun walk. We went to Juice Land and um, after that I went to the store and picked up cookie supplies because the girl cousins are all getting together and doing Sismas and we're having a pajama party, Christmas pajamas slash cookie baking competition. So I'm making chocolate chip cookies, like very classic. Y'all know I bake so I'm just like, you know, gonna make those and it should be fun. Um, yesterday I was just like spot hopping. Um, I got up, I went to this cute place called Graffiti Raw. Then I went to Le Labo to smell some stuff. And I got this soap, this really cute soap from Aesop that I'm about to use for my little self-care Sunday shower. Then my girl Layla hit me up like, oh, we should go to this oyster place that I've been thinking about. That was called Clark's. So we went there. Then we were being bad. And there's this place in Houston called I Know the Owner. That's the name of it. They have the best espresso martini. So we had to do that as well. So yeah, that's just what's going on. Just a cute little vibey little weekend. I was kind of outside yesterday, which is like I'm in hibernation due to winter. That's just how I naturally am. Like I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And then y'all know I live in Atlanta. Now I live in Houston. So the weather is a little bit different, but I'm used to kind of like being low key in the winter and doing stuff like being in the house, making cookies, that kind of thing. But yesterday was just so nice and bright. So I was just doing some stuff. So yeah, I am about to get in the shower and use my little body bar and probably chill for a little bit until it's time to make my cookies and get ready for tonight. <laughs> Alright y'all, so 
I took a shower, took a rest, made my cookies, and I rolled them into little balls and stuck them in the fridge. But I made a lot. This made like a really big batch. I could have halved it, but um, I'll just freeze them. And then when my family comes over, I'll feed them cookies. So I got everything packed up. This is a small ball. I'm gonna take my tripod so we can take a picture. And I'm taking pans like in foil and everything to make sure I have all my stuff. And I'm out. <laughs> So, working from home today, made myself a little breakfast. It's just some eggs and avocado on top of like a spring mix. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's a chicken salad. Yeah, no, it was just a, it was a cool week. As y'all saw last week, we had the company Christmas party. I was trying to do like a get ready with me, but then I ran out of time and I'm so sorry, but like I had to go, I had to get out of here then i just like finished up my week i was just spot hopping around checked out some cute places met up with my girl layla and this week i've just been like working um yeah so tomorrow is like my last work day until i am off until like the third so that's cool i'll get like a cool little quick little vacation and that's a vibe i'm actually meeting up with layla again today we're gonna go to this place called postino um i haven't been there but i hear they have like it's like a wine bar like they specialize in like wine and all that kind of stuff so i'm excited to go because everyone's been talking about it since i've gotten here but no one's taken me and y'all it's literally my six month anniversary of living in houston six months is crazy like just earlier this year, I was living in Atlanta. I lived in Atlanta for over five years, like five and a half-ish years. But like now I live in a whole nother place and it's been six months already. And to me, that's just crazy. But as y'all know, I'm really enjoying Houston. I love Houston. I'm so glad that I moved here. It's literally one of the best things that I've ever done like in my life is to make the decision to move out of Atlanta because um, it was just time it was the era and you know I'm just happy to be like in a new space and just like thriving and happy and like I love this life here in Houston and yeah I'm just really enjoying myself I feel like I went through a lot in 2023 but I absolutely loved 2023 like it was so cute like it was just very transformative and just like, you know, it just was necessary. And I'm just happy and like proud of myself for everything. So yeah, I'm excited for 2024. And now I'm just kind of back in like my own space, like my own mind, just kind of like, you know, my new year starts in October. Y'all know that, but like, this is kind of like the second wave of me just kind of thinking about like going into the new year with, you know, this energy that I've been practicing that I've defined for myself and everything. And so I don't know, 
I'm rambling at this point, but yeah, I'm just about to eat, finish up my work day. Um, we're doing a birthday party, like a floral arrangement class. It's going to be so cute for my sister's sister's birthday. So I had to go pick up some supplies for that. And then tomorrow I go pick up the flowers, um, but it's going to be virtual. This girl I went to high school with, she's literally a brilliant florist. And I reached out to her and she said she could do like a virtual flower making course for us ladies so that's super exciting um so yeah that's what i'm going to be up to and it's gonna be such a vibe <laughs> video but it's like you know if you just got here a lot of new people have been subscribing so like you really wouldn't know the reference anyways so the girls went out and it's like is we sipping the little or is we sipping the lotto if she liked it a lot then send her home with the bottle all right um so i got i didn't even know this had this this is nice it's like embossed so we went to a place called postinos everyone's been talking about it cool so this is a red blend called the dayless and this is what i got because i i you know i started getting into wines a couple of years ago and i feel that i am more of a red girly um maybe it's because i'm like born in October and it's just that kind of a vampy you know spooky little vibe like who knows like red wine just gives like that mystery that just that depth but my homegirl she got this one called the perfect perfect with a k k for kia and it's a riesling now i mix the two together which is probably not allowed and maybe even just a little bit ghetto but it tastes so good so i'm literally about to wash my face pour myself a glass of both of and um you know just like wind down for the night but this is definitely cute like i love this like i didn't even realize because it was so dark in there they was trying to we said they was trying to do wine and what else because they turned the lights down and lit the candles we said it's giving wine and what else but i like this bottle so yeah, that's what's going on. Thursdays for the girls. And girls party on. The face is washed and moisturized. The hair is rolled and bonneted. So let's make a little drink. Go ahead and uncork. Oh my gosh, can I open this? How do you open this? Okay. Okay. So the recipe is two parts red. <laughs> to one part Riesling. Okay, I just made that up, FYI. Okay. Cheers. It's good. I need a little bit more, a little bit more Riesling so I can get that, yeah. Anyways, this is turned into a big glass of wine. But I'm about to watch Love and Death. It's on HBO Max. And I pretty much watched that today. I have one episode left. It's based on a true story. So I won't give it away. But if you want a hint, I will summarize it as bopping and chopping. Because that's what she was in there doing. Bopping and chopping. Okay. Yeah, so the only thing I said is that, Postino, y'all need to get those little canvas bags or something for to go because why did they give us our wine bottles to go in this like it's giving very much corner store it's giving alcoholism it's giving malt liquor and i don't respect it i don't <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let freedom ring. 
King said, let freedom ring, Martin Martin Luther King said, let freedom ring, let freedom ring, ring, ring. So the problem with you guys is you don't let freedom ring. Martin Luther King Jr. said, let freedom ring ring okay so y'all need to let freedom ring let freedom ring let let freedom ring what what the king said let freedom ring i'm free and i'm officially pretty much on vacation so right now i'm actually about to run to asap and grab something for sister sister because it's her birthday and she had mentioned that she needed to go to asap and i don't know if she knows that there's one by our house because she just moved over here in this neighborhood but i'm gonna have to tell her so it's actually like down the street it's like five six minutes away so i'm about to probably get a little bevy maybe i should wait because my sister's coming to get me too but i'm gonna go over there and pick her up something then um yeah, I'm gonna wait for my sister to come. She'll be over here in like a couple hours so we can go get the flowers and prep them for the flower making course. And yeah, shout out to our florist, like Anaya. She's like so amazing. She's just been such a great, sweetie, very professional. And I'm just so excited for the class tomorrow. So we're gonna be prepping for that. We're gonna be having charcuterie. And it's just gonna be like a girl's vibe. So I'm excited, as y'all can see. Y'all know how like when you're a little kid and it's like school's out. Yeah, let's party. Let freedom ring, let, let freedom ring. Yeah, let freedom All right, y'all, so I got the gift card. It's in here. I'm gonna try to get like a little bow for it so it's cute. And I went to this crepery and got a Vietnamese iced coffee. They just put like condensed milk in it, which I knew that, but then I actually forgot. So hopefully it's all good or whatever because i don't be drinking regular milk um not to be trendy but due to lactose intolerance so yeah um i'm about to go home and chill for a second i would have stayed out but i feel like i'm having hot flashes so i need to go home and hot flash in the comfort of my own home okay